That's the target, though. Across the ground it goes. Well played by Hale. Strength on Blitzarves. Sliding in there was Caddy. Down goes Corey. Over the top comes Sewell. Big ball. They were out there. Big ball. They were out there. Fantastic play by Hale. Yeah. To make the contest, to hold the ball in. Should have handballed Geelong instead of the little kick. 12 of the last 14 inside 50s Hawthorne since the Caddy goal. Bruce has been so good. Smith belting it back. Oh. Taylor. Saul. Handball forward. Gunston hands and knees. Clever. Smith running hard. Brilliant handball. Burgoyne will toe poking. Hill. Hill. Hooking. Well, that one bouncing away. Oh. Why didn't Burgoyne go for goal? It's a good question. Because he, he had the three or four metre space, but he tried to set up Hill. Lonigan short, gets to Stokes on the bounce, still inside the defensive 50, smothered by Gunston, Stokes a second opportunity, lays it off to Duncan, runs away from halfback, kicks it up towards the wing, bounces off the chest of the hard leading Podsy Adley, tries to give it to Murdoch, knocks it forward, thinking about the soccer was Hodge, on the assist was Shields, in goes the valiant Mitchell, he's tackled and dragged down, ball releases, Joel Corey the veteran, crashes into the pack, Stokes kicks it 20 metres, taken by Sewell, measures the options and finds a man in the clear, Gunston. Four points the difference, Hawks on top, Gunston goes short. Luke Hodge settles it down. Clock at 3.40 and running. Those 50-50s in the middle were huge. Bartell was forward on his own. Oh, oh that's a bad Not spot. a good kick, a terrible kick. Duncan takes the defensive mark. So, decides just to bang it. Oh. Hawthorne have got all the numbers. Terrible kick. Geelong have got to have more imagination than that right now. They're playing as if there's 30 seconds to go, Geelong. They're still th over three minutes, but they just really long kicking it out of the back 50. Hawthorne making Geelong defend at the moment, and that's exhausting. And we've got to find a man now. Geelong need to get the ball off Hawthorne if they're a chance to win this game, and that takes huge effort. And we know Hawthorne generally is so good at this. Birchall, can they get another one? Ruffy's in a good spot. Oh, great mark. Duncan coming across. Poor oh, kick a moment ago, but that was a fantastic mark. And again, oh. they just go straight up the ground. Stratton over the top, what a wonderful mark. Need uh, composure, a couple of big marks. Ooh, they've lost it too long, haven't they? Well, didn't they look like they think there's 30 seconds to go? They're not playing it like we've still got plenty of time. Guerra on the overlap, sends it long down towards full forward. Roughhead commits to the pack, it falls in front. Mackey trying to struggle free. Taylor goes back to the line and forces it behind. So the margin is now at five. He can't watch. Well, he closed it. There's Johnson in the back pocket. Slips a hand pass across to Selwood. The big names get busy. What can they conjure here? Up towards the wing, Christensen to Kelly on the overlap. Kelly towards half forward. Bartell goes back. Keeping his footing there, doing brilliantly with Gibson. Comes away from halfback. Spots some teammates. Mitchell, Kamikaze, Cannon into Lewis. The hand pass comes forward, down towards half forward from Whitecross. Overrun down there by Hill. And eventually behind him and his wake, there's a scramble. And pilots them play. Mitchell gives a hand pass to Birchall. Birchall coming quickly was Varco. Kick down towards the 50. Up goes Taylor and gets it out of bounds. And both sides will regroup. A minute 33 to go. 37 disposals, Mitchell, just as he did earlier this year. Three games against the Cats. 37, 36, 37. Geelong, one last chance. They've got to get it out of here. Back it goes to Mitchell. Make it 38. And a mark. Back to Mitchell again. Can they turn it over? Saul, twisting, turning. Puopolo breaking Taylor's tackle, getting it to the pocket. Gunston's kick right to full forward. No mark. Oh, no the worst result. Yes, they didn't want a point. They've got Berg on behind play. They're just ready for the one that comes out at least Hawthorne. Can't be a draw. We know that. Johnson's kick's brilliant. How did he do that? Play on call. Oh, and now free kick to Motlop. Surely umpire. No. Johnson gets it from Selwood. Stevie J floating to centre half forward. Varco still with Varco. This to tie the match. He's missed. Oh. He's missed. He's been a luxury in the finals. 
Well, <clears throat> the Kenneth Kersey, five points, half a minute to go. Burgoyne, wonderful game, short. Hodge, about now. Players would know now there's only about half a minute to go, so Hawthorne will know that, Geelong would know that. Hodge will go for distance around the outer side and close to the boundary line. Packers symbol out there. Podsy Adley, first hand to it. That's an important ball. Hale to Shields. We're down to nine seconds. Hawthorne on top. Huopolo's got it. Hand passes to Roughhead. Get the hearse for the curse. It comes down towards Rioli. He'll mark and kick after the siren. I don't think the umpire has heard the siren. It's going. They've won. Hawthorne have won in a stunning game of football at the MCG. Hawthorne to the grand final. What a match. They've raised the bar yet again, these two clubs. The former Prez is very happy. That man is heartbroken. So gallant tonight, Geelong. But Hawthorne will play the winner of Fremantle and Sydney.